Been on uh, Nikki Cornu. I've been doing a lot of canvassing, as you might imagine. And I made one promise to everyone I met, and that was to fairly represent the views that they had told me, both to you tonight and if elected in the state's assembly, because it's quite clear that the voice of the people, of working people in particular, and of pensioners is not being heard. The statistical evidence for that. You've got 70% voter abstention. Why is that? And here's something else. According to the Jersey government 2018 opinion survey report, 70% of adults do not have confidence in the government. 63% of adults do not have confidence in the media. What's going on? The government doesn't represent the people, and the media misrepresents the government to the people. We are not being told the truth. Why can we not build a simple hospital? Everybody wants it. Something is missing. Something we are not being told. I want to find that out. But your state members are not asking those questions. It's left to bloggers like myself, Tom Grishy, Voice for Children, to try and expose the truth because the media doesn't tell you what's going on. I exposed the election expenses scandal of the 92 candidates that participated in the May 2018 election. 27 candidates and 30 states members cannot fill in a simple election expenses form and get it in on time. Now the media closed this story down. BBC Radio Jersey. It's a storm in a teacup. We still don't know the names of those 30 states members who can't fill in forms. The media, it seems, will not send a journalist to go and find out. Why not? Because they want to protect institutions that they consider are fragile. You don't have respect in them. You know they don't have your respect. And that was all exposed in the independent care inquiry, the Jersey way. That's what we need to fight. It still needs to be fought. I'm a lawyer. I've been fighting for social justice in this island for 25 years, for working people, pensioners, and the most vulnerable. I say to you, I will be your voice. Vote the corner. Thank you. Thank you. Same as I'm Lewis, and I'm asking you to consider me for your vote in this by election. A vote for me is a vote for a fresh approach from a different kind of candidate. I'm a St. Neil resident who is passionate about our environment, our community, and our future. That's why I want to offer my energy enthusiasm and experience as one of your representatives in the state's assembly. I am a 50-year-old father and grandfather who worked for many years in print and broadcast journalism in Jersey. My personal experience of disability following a stroke 10 years ago has shown me the very best of Jersey as a community, but I know that we can do more. Richard Rommel, whose untimely death has caused this by-election, was an excellent deputy who understood the value of that community and worked tirelessly to support it. I am putting my name forward and asking for your vote because I want to continue that work and believe I can make a contribution to the future well-being of the residents of St. Helier and of Jersey. I hope you will see my campaign material in print or online, and I'd be happy to take any questions from you after this meeting, or at any on social media but I'd summarize my campaign with five key pledges about what I believe in, and five key promises to you. My five key promises to you are, I'll take a proposal to the states to take GST off food. I'll fight development in this district that puts more pressure on parking and open spaces. I'll work hard to promote more cycle paths and traffic calming in the district. I'll work hard for you and answer your questions honestly. I'll propose a new hospital at Overdale or by combining the existing site. My five key pledges are about my principles and the priorities that are important to me. I believe
company of inequality in society and I want to see Jersey continue to progress. I want education and training opportunities for all our young people to give them a fair chance. I believe in the importance of our natural and built environment for all of us. I want more affordable housing for young families struggling to get on the ladder. I believe in sustainable population controls balancing economic and environmental needs. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a summary of how I want to represent you. We see a lot of new turns from politicians on anything from the hospital to and court. But those promises and are important to me. And I hope they are important to you. Of all, I'm standing because I think that our community deserves better from politicians. Please, when you're casting your vote in this by-election, consider voting for me. And Lewis, a fresh approach from a different kind of candidate. Please vote for me. I'm Gordon Troy. 